Until recently, there were two ways to fly, either by visual flight rules or instrument flight rules. Well, now there's a new rating in the air, VFR over the top, or OTT for short. VFR OTT allows specifically rated pilots to fly over low cloud where weather conditions would have grounded them. But it's not for all VFR pilots. It's an endorsement that requires a minimum of 15 hours dual instrument time, and it also means more work in planning and detailed pre-flight evaluation, especially where the weather is concerned. For the actual OTT flight, specific conditions must exist in the forecast before taking off. First, the climb and descent must be made clear of cloud. This includes having VFR conditions at the destination airport up to one hour before and two hours after the estimated time of arrival in the Terminal Aerodrome Forecast, or TAF. The area forecast must predict VFR conditions from one hour before to three hours after the estimated time of arrival. En route, an aircraft must be operated OTT at a vertical distance of at least 1,000 feet from the cloud below and, if flying between layers, the vertical distance between the layers must be at least 5,000 feet. Finally, flight must be in daylight conditions with a visibility of at least five miles. For all of those wishing to fly OTT, you must take into consideration your experience and the performance capabilities of your aircraft because in many instances, you'll be required to fly at higher altitudes. Over the top provides a window to fly over poor en route weather conditions, but like any flight, the key is to know your limitations, the weather conditions, and be prepared for what you'll do if that window closes.